Howdy folks, Troy with V-Twins the V8s. I'm back to uh, show you the installation of the gear vendors unit along with the cross member in my 67 Charger project. In the previous um, video, I showed you how to put the tail housing uh, adapter on the back of the 727. So that's in video number one. I've now mated that 727 to the uh, the big block wedge engine that's going in the car and I've set the engine and transmission in the car. Um, at that point, now I can get ready to put my um, gear vendors unit on the back of the transmission and put my cross member in. So I've already done like the installation. I'm just gonna be on to show you how to do it. So what first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the gear vendors unit on the back of the transmission and um, then we're going to jack the transmission up and put the cross member in. I've done this and fitted everything, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the areas that we have some problems with. Um, there's two bosses on the top of the gear vendors unit. I'll show them to you. They kind of get really close to the floor, and I like to have plenty of room for when the engine gets rocking and rolling and torquing and things of that nature, so we don't have, I don't want this unit to be banging on the floor. I just, I just can't accept that. So what I did was I put it up into place, I found out where it may make contact. What I did was I laid a bunch of masking tape over the floorboards and I took a ball, rounded side of a ball peen hammer and a sledgehammer and I carefully rolled that back so it gave me some, some room for my unit. I'm going to string the camera over, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So what happens is, is when this thing gets up in the transmission tunnel, you can see how this is round up here. And then you got these two spots where it bolts together here, and this has got kind of a corner on both sides. Well, those two corners really don't like the floor because I want this unit to sit way up, tucked away. Now, here's the back of my transmission. Here's my transmission and, and engine in the car now. If you look up here, I don't hopefully you can see it. I got a little bit of a dent here, and then I got another little bit of a dent over in this area over here. I laid masking tape down. I just kind of tapped it down just to give myself some clearance. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the gear vendors unit and I'm going to bolt it on the back of this here. And then we'll raise it up and then you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Okay folks, so I repositioned the camera. Here's my back flange for my uh, adapter on my transmission. I'm going to carry the gear vendors unit over here. I'm going to mate it to the back of the transmission, just like I did on the bench. I got one nut. I'm just going to hang on to that so I can put that on the very top just to make sure the unit doesn't scooch off, which I doubt it would anyways, but I tend to err on the, soft, uh, on the safe side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we are. I grab it by the bottom like this so I can get it in nice and flush. And then it's just going to slip right on there. Boom, there it is. It goes on super easy. Here's my gear vendor unit. It's mated to the back of my transmission. My transmission jack has got this thing drooped down so I can slip it right on. I've dimpled my floor up here so it gives me plenty of room on both sides. As you can see, looking down here, like this part and this part kind of stick out. And that's going to tuck into my two little dimples that I made. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to raise this up with my transmission jack and get it up into position. It just tucks this right up in there nicely. Now, see what I'm saying here? Now, boom, look at that. And then where I created my release, that was tucked right into those. I'm actually a little high right now. So the next thing I'm going to do is the, uh, the transmission cross member. I'm going to show you I modified that. Okay, so here's my transmission cross member. This little area right here is where my transmission mount drops in. Now, what I did was I cut this off all the way around this edge. I dropped this thing down about a half an inch and then re-welded it on there. Um, I did this by, um, I cut this off, I put the, the cross member in place, I got my transmission where I wanted it to be, I bolted this to the, to the uh, transmission mount, and then I marked this, and then afterwards I tack welded it. After I tack welded, I refitted it. So what I, what I got now is basically it's all welded, it just needs to be cleaned up and made nice. So I'm going to show you the back of the transmission. So here's my transmission mount. 
This is where my cross member bolts in. I'm gonna slide my cross member up in here, put my bolts in, put my nut on there, and then I can lower the transmission down. I'll have my clearance that I need over in this area here, and it'll be exactly where it needs to be. Okay, so here we go. Here's my transmission cross member. I'm gonna put it into position. I'm gonna line it up with my mount here. And I'm just going to slip it right into place. Now, obviously, this has been fitted a bunch of times, and I got it exactly where I want it to be. So here's my cross member. Here's my bolts. I just put two in. There's one here. There's another one that goes there I didn't put in. Another one that goes there. And then there's this one here. Then this is my transmission mount I just showed you. That's right there. Now I can just take and lower my jack, and you can watch... And boom now this is exactly how this is gonna ride and if you look up in here well hopefully you can see what I have is I have plenty of clearance for this to move around it's not really gonna move a lot but it it'll flex you know when you're when you're on the gas or hit hit a big bump or something like that I just want to make sure I got room for it so I'm gonna take clean this thing all up and get it painted and then do the final installation. Uh, okay, so I just wanted to show you, see if you can see this, the, you know, the bottom line of the car. These are my um, subframe connectors. Really, this piece is, the gear vendor's unit is not really any lower than my cross member, my transmission oil pan, any of that. So, so it's tucked up in there nice and neat. Uh, I'm going to bolt this thing on here finally. And then, I mean, I've got two wires that go to this solenoid. And then I got a speedometer cable that goes here. And then, of course, I got my drive shaft. We're going to have to measure a drive shaft. We'll do the drive shaft measurement uh, once we have um, the engine exactly where we want it. Everything's bolted down. That way, there we make an accurate measurement, have the drive shaft cut once, and it'll be correct. Okay, folks, Troy with V Twins to V8s. I really appreciate you tuning in. Now we've got the transmission in the car, we've got the gear vendors unit on there, we've got our transmission mount modified and in place. The next segment I'll come on with you is once I get my engine all dialed in, the mounts where I where I definitely want them to be, that cross members all cleaned up and painted and in, and the gear vendors units all bolted on and everything is exactly where it's going to be in the car, then we'll work on uh, positioning the rear suspension in a ride height and measuring that drive shaft so I can take that out and have that cut and rebalanced. Then after that, it's pretty much just some minor wiring I showed you underneath there, but I'll walk you through that and I'll show you. I mean, my wires are already attached inside the car and they're run down at this point, but I'll bring you up to the unit. I'll show you how it's wired, which wires go where, the controls that I put on the console inside. I'll show you the whole system complete. Well, I just kind of walk you through this little by little. I appreciate you tuning in. My name is Troy Kane, vtwins to v8s.com on Facebook, vtwins to v8s.com on my website, and Troy Kane on YouTube. Please subscribe. Thank you very much.